Welcome back. In this video, we're going to focus on getting the nav bar to display the links correctly so that when you're not signed in, you only see login and sign up, but when you are signed in, you only see log out. And then we can also display a little message that says signed in as, and then the username. So signed in as Severus, signed in as Rusty, whatever it is. Initially, I had all of this at the end of the part four video, and I decided to move it out into a separate video so that I could spend a little more time going into some detail and explaining how some of this works. So let's get started. And what I'm gonna do is open up header.ejs. And here are the three lines that are responsible for those three links right here. Log in, sign up, log out. In order to hide and show them appropriately, we need to add some simple EJS logic. We'll have an if statement that looks something like this. This is uh, just pseudocode, but if no user, then we'll show login and register, and then else we'll show the logout link. Now, of course, this isn't real JavaScript. We'll have to work on that. But what we'll do is pass a variable, just like we've done here, where we're passing in campground, or we're doing it one more time here, we're passing campground again, except we're gonna pass a user object. And that user will contain information about the logged in user, or if there is no logged in user, it will be empty, undefined. And we can use that user variable inside of our template. So if it's undefined, we'll check if the user is undefined, show these, Otherwise, show the logout link. So let's begin by figuring out how can we get that data about the user. And I'll just start on one of these routes and I'll do the campgrounds index page, which is here, app.get slash campgrounds, because it's a nice simple route and a lot of our code redirects back to this route. And the secret to all of this, the important part is request.user. So request.user will contain all of the information, well, not all of it, but the username and the ID of the currently logged in user. So I'll show you. Let's just do a console.log request.user and start the server up. And then I'll go refresh. And we get undefined. And that's because there's no currently logged in user. So request.user is empty. It doesn't exist. But then once I log in, what Passport will do is create request.user, input the user data, just the username, and the ID, not the password or anything, but username and ID inside of request.user. So I'll log in, Severus, password, click login, let's go look. You can see this is now request.user. It's going to be really useful for us in our templates. So I'm going to pass that through now, get rid of that. And then after campgrounds, I'll just have another variable I'll call current user that's equal to request.user. And then in our template, we can write some simple logic that checks if there's a current user. And then in our template, we can add some very simple logic using the current user variable. So let's save and let's go to index.ejs, which is the campgrounds index. And just at the very top, let's just add a little h4 that just prints out current user. And let's restart the server. And if I go right now, we don't see anything. But if I log in as Severus again, and I log in, I now see current user. So we're now passing that data through into our template. But rather than using it inside of this index template, we actually want to use it inside of the navbar template, the header. And remember, we do have access to any of the variables that we pass through to our template, even inside of partials. So inside header.ejs, we're going to add an if statement and it will just look like this. If there is no current user, we can just do that. Then display those two links. And then we'll have our else display the logout link. And then of course we need our EJS tags. So let's do that. No equal signs, just like that. And we're almost done. So we're checking if a current user variable is empty, then we're gonna show these. Otherwise we'll show the logout link. But this will only work right now at least on this route slash campgrounds because we're not passing current user through on any other routes. But let's just make sure that it does work. 
So I'll restart the app. If I refresh the page, great, I only see login and sign up. And that's because I'm not logged in. Now, if I click on login, we will have a problem, which is that we have the header file and it's trying to use current user, but we didn't pass current user through. So actually this will happen on any route that has our nav bar because we're not passing current user through except on slash campgrounds. So what we want to do is pass current user through basically this line right here on every single route. And on some of them, it might be empty. Some of them will have user data, but we want it available on every route. And there's an easy way of doing that where we don't have to manually add it in to every single route. And up top, before our routes, just going to add in another app.use. App.use, and we'll add our own little middleware. Whatever function we provide to it will be called on every route. So we're going to give it a function, request, response, and we need that next variable also. And what we want to do is pass that request.user to every single template. And there's an easy way of doing that. It looks like res.locals.currentuser equals request.user. Whatever we put in res.locals is what's available inside of our template. And then the other really important thing is we need to move on to the actual next code because this is a middleware that will run for every single route. If we don't have this next, it will just stop. Nothing will happen next. So we need to have the next in order to move on to that next middleware, which will actually be the route handler in most cases. So now if we try this, restart the server, refresh the page, this should work just fine. If I go to login, I now have the login form and I'm not getting an error and I see the correct links because I'm not logged in. Now if I log in as Severus again, I only see log out. Great. And let's try clicking on log out. Awesome. So it's working. The last thing that I wanted to do is that when you're signed in, let's do this one more time. We want to see up here, rather than log in and sign up, we want to see currently signed in as Severus. And that's pretty easy to do. Inside of our header.hs, we already have current user. So if there is a current user in this else, we'll just add another li. And in that li, we'll just add in the text. Let's do signed in as, and then we just interpolate or we add in with ejs tags current user dot username and save restart and let's see how this looks we might need to style it a little bit refresh let's log in signed in as severus and yes we do want to style that so let's make it an anchor tag like the other ones and we'll just not give it an href. So we'll give it anchor tag href equals just the pound sign. It might make sense for this to actually be a link to the profile page though, which we don't have, but if we had profile pages, you could click this and it would take you to your profile. But this is fine for now. So we'll log out, that should go away. Let's try registering and see how that works. So I'll sign up as Mrs. Purple and the password will be purple, sign up. And we get signed in as Mrs. Purple and we can log out. And let's just double check everything that if I try and add a new comment, I have access to it. But if I log out and I try and do that, I can't. It asked me to log in first. Okay, so we're officially done with the basics of adding auth to Yelp Camp. Let's take a moment to review the new things that we saw in this lesson. In particular, using request.user which we set right here. Request.user will be either empty if no one signed in, or it will contain the username and the ID of the current user. So we're using an app.use, which will call this function on every single route. So it's a nice way to dry up our code where we didn't have to go and do this on every route. And we can actually get rid of that now because we're passing it through using our app.use. And then the other thing is that in our template, we're just writing a simple if statement. And combining that logic with HTML can be really powerful. We can show and hide these buttons. We can show who's currently logged in. Really important stuff. Okay, so that was a bit of a marathon, definitely. Five different sections, but we got it to work. We created the user models first. 
we created the sign up, registration forms and routes, and then login, and then the logout, and then finally we worked on the navbar and showing and hiding links and displaying the currently logged in user. All right, I'll see you in the next unit.